KSM Show. Hello, my name is Dr. Samuel Sasu, CEO of HealthWorks and Minister Director of CSA Africa. I watch the numero uno KSM show and I urge you to keep on watching. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I told you my second guest, uh, very, very inspirational woman, young lady actually, who happens to have had a, a child who is autistic and because of that, she went deep into what the whole autism is and it's amazing what she's doing now. She has now set up the Listino Center for Children and it's amazing. She'll be talking to us more about it. But in the meantime, folks, if you're anybody who has an autistic child, child with special needs and everything, call them. She, they have one minute to get to the TV to listen to Angel. In the meantime, put your hands together. Show some love for Angel. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Angel. Wow, finally. Good to see you. Thank you. I heard your story and I thought it was very captivating. You had a child and it, was, it took about a one and a half years before you discovered that your child was autistic. Yes. Tell us how you discovered it. Um, actually, um there was a day that we were going to the a mall or a supermarket to buy something. Then I realized that there's the same a child there, the same age, which uh, that child was pointing. He want this, she want this, she want this. Uh, I checked my son. All oh, my son was either crying or laughing or just be picking anything like that. I said, please, how old is? So hold on, so. It forced you to compare. Yes, yes. The the vibrant child with yes, your quite yes. reserved one. Because okay, he was very active, and then just hyperactive. That's the word, hyperactive. So I said that a child who is very hyperactive like that, then a child who is so calm, so but calm. talking. I want this, daddy, buy this. this I said, ah. Then my son, what? Initially, he was uh, like every child is growing, mama, dad, that those kind of things. All of a sudden, I didn't see it uh, like it was dropping, it dropped just like that. Uh, so, so initially, said, you were saying yes, dada, yes, mama, dada. Yes. And then all of that just dropped. Yes. Okay. But all what you could see is the hyperactivity. Mm. Any chance you get out. Mm. So I said, ah, please, how old is your daughter? He said, oh, why are you eight months? I said, ah, please, can I know the man? He said, madam, why? I said, oh, mm. please, I'm begging you. I just want to. See about my son. He's not uh, talking like the way your mm, daughter is. Mm. So I just want to know more. He said that oh, okay. So when I check the months, it's almost the, the same. same. I, I I check it. My son was older than the girl. I think one week. Mm. I said ah. that's interesting how mother's minds work sometimes. <laughs> You're looking at a kid so vibrant and say I have the same kid. Looks about it's the same age group, but mine is not. So you, you, you found out that yes. they were around the same age? Yes, yes. Mm. So I said, oh, thank you. Please, it's not anything. I just want to mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. compare something. So I went home and I said, uh, Daddy, please, so oh, that's my husband. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I never call him like that. That's why I said, <laughs> uh, our son, I think there's something wrong. Hey, there's nothing wrong. Me was said, oh, the way I see this boy, there's something wrong. Nothing is wrong. And then there's nothing you can see that you can trace that, oh, okay, the face look like... No. Physically, everything... Yes, is perfectly. A, the, the, and then he walk at the age of seven months. So you can see a child like that. Uh, okay, so as usual, women and then their child, the first born like that, to going up and down, churches upon churches, travel here and there to seek that this boy will talk. Just uh, like that. So what... You realized he wasn't talking? Yes. And then the hype, I cannot sit down. I have an attention deficit too. You cannot just sit down for just a second. Mm. As if there is something pinning the bottle. So immediately sat down, I just... Mm. So what did you think at that time that my child is... What? Uh, all what I thought was somebody has done something to mm. my child. Mm. Uh, okay. You thought it was a spiritual warfare yes. or something? that's all. Really? Yes. So you started with your trips to? Yes, going up and down, church to church. Uh, what were they telling you? Uh, it's my mother. Yes, it's my mother. It's my mother-in-law. It's those kind of those mm. kind of stuff. And then it's your and I said, me, I don't have friends. So how can a friend? Because I'm not somebody. So, who so is. at what point did you decide? I've had enough. 
let me let me yes. there should be something else at what point and what what led you to that point the point was when phil got missing oh he got missing yes got missing he opened the gate somebody was the outside working there for me and then the person came for water he didn't close the gate well. uh, and he left so he left then i said no i have to sit up then we didn't see the boy till the following day. Whoa. So I saw that no world is just turning on me like that. So I said, ah, why? Though so if today I'm dead, how will be this boy? I can have a money building, a mansion, and this wow. thing. Who will be taking care of him? If I'm not there, they will even help him to die even early so that mm. they can take those things. So all my focus was that time that no then let me see this boy independent tomorrow mm. that's what will be important so that when you die you know yes. that at least there's some and wow. then the second was uh, when um i realized that no so this boy is he coming to be like that is he going to be a burden mm. even not on me uh, what about the society mm. And Africa as a whole, we don't accept children like that. Mm. So, I mean, I, I'm trying to find the, the balance, you know. And all this time, they've been telling you it's your mother, it's your grandmother-in-law, it's whatever. And at what point did you decide maybe all of that cannot be true? There, there's another reason. Yes, what I... Uh, my husband was just going through online and then he saw that. Uh, when you go outside, these children can do massively well. Mm. And then I met one professor outside, and then he told me that uh, you have a, two, uh, two boys, autistic mm. boys, mm. and he was, uh, she was able to recover them. I said, ah, meaning there is a way that mm. these children can recover. Meaning it's not a disease. So if it's not a disease, uh, meaning it's a symptoms. So when you talk about autism, uh, the man said that it's not a mental illness. Autism but, is not mental. Yes. But a biological and sensory processing disorder. The biological is these children have been there since. Those days, because of the food we'll be eating, those children can come out. They've grown up. You see, some of them, when you go to school with them, they'll be heading their chairs on their wall and they are all autistic. Mm -hmm. It's a spectrum. When you talk about the spectrum, meaning when you take hundred of autistic children, they are all different. Mm. everybody behaved differently mm. and then it's a genetic because others may have a children like if you have is between a 21 percent to 99 percent for a parent somebody to have a child like that so meaning if you have a child is a genetic i mean it's 99 you can have three and i know parents who have three three autistic yes, yes. i know parents who have three i know some who have two uh, the list is the one, but when you trace other ones, you can just trace some symptoms. Yeah, this is normally it happens on the boys more than the girls. When you take uh, 63 uh, boys, you get one of autistic. it as a yeah. autistic. And then when you take uh, almost 80 girls, you take uh, one will be autistic mm. person. When, when, when you discovered that he was autistic, mm -hmm. uh, what then did you decide to do? So what I decided to do is uh, what I should do so that this child can be independent. So mm -hmm. I started learning there is some schools I went through with online and then to learn about how yes, to deal how with them. To do with them. Yeah. So I first got to know about a therapy. Mm. How we can help them to heal their gut. They have serious gut issue. Gut? Gut issue. It's, it's, it's a long intestine from the throat to the anus. And it's, it's normally happy here. That's uh, help them for the digestion of the food. Normally, they, some of them, they have a big tummy here. Instead of here, to be a big, the, the, this place, the up there is bigger than the dam. So that's the, some of them. So the way uh, the food will uh, digest, and digest, some of them, they will pull even the food out before they will, uh, they will chew it back. So, because meaning that the gut, they're having the gut issues. Uh, Some of them, they'll be chewing their dresses and then those kind of things. And then they move with colors. So, I have to know more about it. How come others, they can be able to help them? And Africa as a whole, we cannot help our mm. children. That's what I got the interest. No, 
I don't want to just do it just like that, but to have a certificate so that I will know more about it. Wow. And then, now I'm doing the how to understand autistic child brain, mm. how they think and then how they behave. This is the That's that. what you're working on now? Yes. How to understand it? Yes. yes. What, with the little that you've learned, and yes. for those that are watching, there are benefits. What little do you know that will help them to to understand how, how their brain works. When we are talking to them, first of all, you have to look through their eye. You have to look at their because eye. Because they are visual learners. They mm. see before they learn. Mm. So you have to look through their eyes because they don't have eye contact. Too. Some of them don't have the motor skills. So if you are talking to them and you don't look their eyes, the next time, every day, they will be, their attention will be somewhere. Uh, so if they don't have the eye contact, this, this and maybe they're looking somewhere. Do you have to go and stand in front of them? No. What happens? You, you, you tap them that, I'm talking uh, with I'm you. I'm talking to you. Yes. And then bring their attention yes, to bring you. bring their attention to you. So please, uh, let's say, let me use my son as an example. Sure. So I'm talking with you. Can't you look at my eye? Then you just turn. So you raise your voice, you minimize it, then you bring it down. That's how you talk to them. Mm. So I'm talking to you, to you, to you listen to me. Then quickly, their attention will come. Then, then they'll look at you. Look at me. Before you tell them what yes, you want to tell them. Tell them what, yeah. wow. <laughs> wow. I see. So they, they, they are, they are interested. Uh, yes. I don't jump ahead of it because you have one, Phil. Yes. You took him through all. Yes. Prayer yes. comes, everything. Yes. yes. And then you came to awareness. Yes. Let me study because if you are ignorant about certain things, yes. for yes. lack of what knowledge, knowledge yes, yes, your people perish. Yes. So you, you studied to get some knowledge. Yes. And I just want the viewers to know that she's done so well with, 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 with Phil. This is his name. Yes. Eh? Phil now swims. He writes. Yes. Tell me about some of the things that okay. he does and how you got Now Phil played a long tennis. He plays long tennis. Yes. And then Phil play. You see, you have a regular children and you have the special children. Mm. You don't have normal children. No. You have regular a regular and special. And special. So now Phil competes with the regular people. When you come to uh, uh, Burma camp riding, look at the main road like this. Phil take a road bike there. So you have a, co uh, a coach uh, called uh, Saki, uh, uh, Isaac Saki. That is number one. Cyclist. Y yes. He coached him. Yes, he coached him. Yeah. And then he has, Saki has, do, uh, has done a very massive job, uh, work on the boy. And then, wow. uh, this Show some love to Monosaki band. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And they have a... What, what, what triggered you to be bold enough to say you learn riding? Go and learn riding. That's, it, that's it, a complicated yes, thing for you to... check one of my legs. Because the one is dark than this. I have a serious, terrible accident with it. Because at times, they will come as if they will help you. But... Because a child is a special, that they say they'll be going back. So I will learn it myself. So, so in can case, teach. yes. So, so one of them, then, the then, yes. So one of them, then I got to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so well. because if you don't, always I say that help your child so that somebody can help that child for you. Mm. Because you know they have the a difficulty of territories and those kind of things. So if you don't help that child to out of those things, for him to sit down, or her to sit down. There's no way somebody can help. Mm -hmm. So help your child. Let me help you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the food and the this. Because at times people So say diet that, is a very key thing. Yes, yeah. diet is the key. But if it, people are saying diet, diet, diet. What diet? Which type of food? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't take time, the nutrient the child has to get to grow will not get that nutrient mm -hmm. too. So you have to know that. So this you, you have to study all of these yes. things too. So we to train know. parents too who are willing to learn only the food. I can give your child food for four years. Your child can come out of it. Now, Phil is 95%. Out of it? Out of it. Really? Yes. Because somebody may ask that, how do you assess? Mm. How, this is how you assess them. Phil cannot sit down for one minute. Yeah. Now, he can sit down for one hour. Wow. He did a, so, you know there's improvement. Yes. He did the program with, a, a, he did the first communion and then the uh, confirmation. And he passed through the same catechism. As a Catholic, passed through the same catechism. So they were wondering uh, uh, how. And then he can sit down with the Excel. You'd be shocked. So anything that we have to do, how to cook, because tomorrow if I'm not there, who will cook for you? So learn how to do your own thing. 
learn how to wash car, learn how to wash your bike. So now you learn how to, when you get a, a puncher, how you face it, change the tie and the distance. Whatever you have to do that, they, this boy will be independent. It's what? You know why I wear a t-shirt like that? Independent uh, is my priority. Mm. Anytime you see you with that t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about that. You have a, a Le, 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 Lestino, Lestino Center, for, Center for, children. for Children. What do you do there? This is what we do. I have a team. Uh, some of the Winneba and other things because we need a specialist to handle a child. This is what we do. We have a therapy who to help a child to calm down for the child. It's not about medicine. I, mean, I don't use medicine. No, no, no. Hmm. For having been on any drugs. No. Really? Yes. Apart from the prayers and prayers and prayers, all what I, I stop just all of a sudden and I concentrate with the hand. The hand? Yes, I use my hand. Okay. Explain that. So, for example, so what would you do with your hand? There is a sensory here which connects through straight to the brain. There is a way that this hand can help you to heal the gut. You see the gut, when you kill the, uh, a goat or something, you see there's a towel or something. Uh, the own is yeah. like that, but the yeah. towel is not there. So, you see they smooth. So, what you do that when, so that when the food comes, the bacteria that can take the good ones, you know, Cannot get the good one, but the good one goes straight to the brain. So that the guy. So I use my hand, and then here is connecting here. This is where I press that the high hyperactivity will go down, so that the child will stop. Being excuse hyper. me, misbehaving and those kind of yeah. yes, the shouting. You see, they don't like noise, but they want to make noise. Yeah, but they don't like no, it. No, they don't like it. They are they are sensitive to the noise. So anytime you see them, they are covering their ear. Those kind of things. When you see that any time, they'll be looking at their eyes. So people will say that, hey, they have taken something from it. No, nothing. That's them. Wow. Wow. So when you, whatever you do that, at times you be, they'll be touching it. So how you start with, when you are working with a child like that, put your hand in your pocket. So at time can be, it be a gentle. So now feel, you see feel every time the hand is in the pocket. It's so gentle. Uh, so that's my son. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, <laughs> wow. So he's a, and how old is he now? Now Phil is 13. 13. Yeah, he'll be there 14 December. December. Oh, okay. He's a December boy? Yes, yeah, a December mm. boy. Just like his grandfather. Here. Oh, okay. I'm a December, <laughs> I'm a December old man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's it's, so interesting. Yes. Just quickly, um, uh, is there like a website, a contact number yes. for parents watching who... Yes. Who I'm sure you, yes. you you want to hear from? We have the, our the, website is the Listino uh, Special Kids dot com. Okay. And then uh, uh, the telephone. We are, I do podcast a lot to oh, talk. You do podcast. Uh, yes, okay. To talk about uh, uh, autism and mm. then what we can do to help the mm -hmm, children. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so it's on Facebook and then okay. the YouTube too. Yeah, well, how did they reach you on Facebook? Was it Listino? It's the same name, Listino. Uh, Everything is on the screen right now. And um, you can go to the Facebook and check things. You have the number that you can call and, 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 and things like that. So how many kids do you have? Now, because it's not a center that we take the children, because they are visual learners, so the more you are taking them, the more they are learning from each other. Mm. Because some are having severe, okay, others, others are, are mild. Yes, so you don't keep them, but rather what we do is, we do the therapy, then we help you if you need a teacher, if you need a piano, a piano, a, a, a piano or something, to, Pia uh, to train your child, mm. you get it for you. If you need a cyclist, you just get it for you. Mm. Or you need a, somebody who can train your child for the distance. So yeah. as a training, you can discover where yes, you want the therapy to push will help the therapy. A child to uh, discover whatever that child they want to. Mm. Mm. Because if you don't do the therapy, trust me, you can get all the teachers. It's nothing. But it's nothing. The child but has to sit down. <laughs> you have to get the mm. eye contact. Mm. The motor skills have to work mm. before. Mm. Somebody can help that child for you. Wow. Show some love, man. <laughs> when I heard the story, I said, I have to invite Angel. Let's have a chat. You know, and I'm, no, I, I'm very, very sure there are many, many people listening that are going to call you. You're going to be inundated with calls. You have to now decide, you know, which ones you can handle. And hopefully, 
as you build a stronger network, you even expand your place and, you know, but congratulations. Thank you. Sir. I heard the story, I said, no, people, people must hear this story as well, because people need to hear yeah. this story. So you've done very, very well, Angel. Thank and you so uh, nice. send our love to Phil. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we are very proud of you. Thank and you. keep it up. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Fox, one more time for Angel. <laughs> well, thank you all very much for tuning in today. Today I told you the program is uh, Angels in Our Mist. So you heard from Jonathan Akuamua, who's building boreholes and doing all this stuff. And then we have now have the privilege and honor of listening to Angel and we are knowing what she's doing to, to help both people that we feature today are people on the ground helping to make a change and that's what we need to tap into. This is the energy we're looking for and um, from where we sit we'll give you all the help we can, all the connections when we get them and everything so that what you're doing can grow and you can reach out and help more people. Okay? Thank you. Okay folks! <laughs> So until next week when we come your way with another exciting edition, KSM signing off as I always do. You always watch my show. Yes. Do you know how I sign off? Yes. So sign off for me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. You know, before you sign off, folks, um, his son feel that you see this clips and things. His son feel actually had a message for me. I thought it was cute. Take a look at this. I'm shock me I Miss or to you keep watching the KSM show. KSM, I love you. <laughs> oh, wow, man, she has to laugh at that. No, no, send us off. No, no, we were we waiting for you. Okay, folks, so until next week, we are out of here. <laughs> 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 See you next week, folks. <laughs> <laughs>